So welcome back again, everybody watching in China and Korea. We're back on the stage of the Bosoni Piano Competition. Tonight is the first uh, chamber music stage with Schumann Quartet from Germany. And it's my pleasure to be introducing Lisa Randalu and Eric Schumann. She's the violist and the concert master of the quartet. So just a general question, how have the rehearsals been coming along so far? Yeah, I think it's uh, really great to um, get to know all the, the amazing candidates and I think the, uh, the level is extremely high. So it's a huge pleasure to be rehearsing with them. This year, other than in previous editions, actually si uh, seven instead of six participants were admitted to the final stages. How hard is it to do every one of them justice? Well, it is a challenge for us, definitely, but it's, um, I'm overwhelmed by the talent and uh, uh, level and the skill. They are all uh, ready pianists and musicians for a big career without question. And um, so different to discover all the different uh, personalities. So of course we can not do it like we would just play with one of them. It's, it's a different but um, everybody, we get the personality in the direction they play very quick and our quartet is very quick. I think that's why we are well suited for this uh, kind of task um, to the person's musical um, environment he's playing or she's playing in. And yeah, I'm, uh, it's, it's also new for us. We never did it to play with so many uh, fine pianists at the same time. So it's uh, very uh, rewarding for us as well. Yeah, and um, uh, very exciting as well to, to be in this process also with them in this competition and also knowing from the other side, we have been in so many competitions ourselves, um, knowing um, what feeling that is, how, how, how important it is for oneself. And it's, I think it's also a privilege to, you know, to be part of that process for the candidates. So in best case, we want to be a support for them and to really like a concert, experience the music with them together. It's all uh, masterworks which we played with already many great other pianists. And, um, but it's so nice that um, so many of them discover the piece uh, again new and so we discover it every time with them again and that's uh, great fun. A question that I was asked from China is, um, since many of those young pianists probably play with a quartet the first time, it might be their first occasion, like especially on that level of performing chamber music, is there some kind of general advice you could give young performers who are about to, to enter that particular form of, of chamber music? Don't start too late. <laughs> I, I think some pianists, they are so in the piano world, um, and that, that's great and that's fine, but if you uh, want to broaden, you have to um, play as an early age, when you're young already, chamber music. I think it broadens also when you come back to your solo repertoire, your uh, view, because um, in the end that piano and strings or other or wind instruments uh, melt, you have to think and to feel very, very uh, universal. So. Um, we strings, we always say, you know, a pianist would do it that way. So I think pianists do the same. They, uh, a, a string player would do it this way, or a wind player would, would do it this way. So in best case, we all influence uh, each other, all the instruments with all their strong points. And uh, so start early. Yeah, so in general, <laughs> one could say that just start playing with other people because um, also with other instruments because the instruments um, work so differently and we have like melodic instruments and we have different um, capabilities on the instrument and the piano. And I think it also opens up the ears for, I mean, not just pianists, I mean, for everyone who does chamber music. So what Eric said, just start early and um, play with other people. <laughs> and my last question is, and I would like you to take that as an opportunity to introduce uh, your ensemble also to, to the viewers in, in China and Korea in particular. Um, we have introduced this chamber music stage, replacing the first stage with orchestra um, four years ago. So far we had the Quartetto di Cremona and we had the Oystrak String Quartet. Which they have been very different and it was like great every time to have like ensembles of that 
a powerful range here in playing in Bolzano. What does the Schumann Quartet stay, stand for? What do you represent artistically? I would say a deep passion for music, but that stands hopefully for all musicians. Um, I would not say we are specialized in Schumann, that's what, pe what maybe what if people think, because it refers to our name, not uh, particularly to the composer. Um, of course, it's, a, it's special that we are family, we are three brothers, and Lisa is kind of a sister. Um, so it's a family quartet, there, is, uh, there are a few other very famous and good ones, like the Hagen Quartet, of course, where, um, who we look up to. Um, but in the end, I think it's uh, when you do chamber music, it's uh, d d devotion you have to give, and I think we um, we are growing still and will grow until the last bit we play. And um, yeah, so it's I think we are a very passionate quartet, and on a hope I, I think so on a high technical level also, but uh, also very ins inspired. I think. Well, I think he said everything already. <laughs> so we're looking very forward to the four performances tonight and the three tomorrow. And yeah, fingers crossed for every seven of the candidates, even if it's not going to help everyone in the end. It's going to be great. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.